In this ICT basics video, I'm going to cover the concept of the breakaway gap, which is the first fair value gap in a, in a sequence. So when you have an extended move higher or an extended move lower and you're looking at the market uh, turning its direction, the first thing that you want to look for really on any time frame, but you know, really kind of 10 minutes or below would be preferred. When you have a swing up or a swing down, the first gap in the sequence that you want to look for is what's called a breakaway gap. So it's a fair value gap. So for example, here we have a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency here on the five minute chart. Um, but it, it does not get traded back into, meaning that it breaks away from a higher time frame level. So it could break away from a higher time frame inefficiency or liquidity, but you know, ideally a higher time frame inefficiency level. Um, and you'll know it's a breakaway gap because it, it moves away from the, the, the market price moves away from that gap very quickly and it and it does not trade back into it. And if it does trade back into it, it might trade back into it by a couple of ticks, but it needs to leave a portion of it open. That is a breakaway gap. And it's the first gap in a sequence and it's the very first good sign, right? It's a good sign that the market is switching directions, okay? Um, you don't necessarily need a breakaway gap in order for the market to make a decent move in the in the other direction, but it's something that if you see it and you're like, oh, that's a breakaway gap, that's for sure. You know, it looks like the market has has changed directions. Um, if you see it, then you then you know that's a very good sign. Uh, looking here on our regular trading hours, I'm just going to show you some examples of breakaway gaps. There's an example of a breakaway gap here on a three minute chart. We see that that came in the PM session. Um, you even saw it on the way up. So really, even though it's a bigger gap, that's a breakaway gap right there because we have a swing higher. You know, we went from 984 evens all the way up to uh, 15,087 even. That's a good, that's a good like 100 point move. So we have a gap here that price did not trade back into until it came back down. That's a breakaway gap. These are typically small. They're not typically like visually very large, uh, but they can be, but I ideally they're, they're usually pretty small. Um, let me see if I can find some more examples uh, looking at our regular trading hours. Let me try the electronic trading hours, five minute chart, see if I can find any uh, on a swing up. Let's go down to a two minute chart. Okay, just going to circle some examples of breakaway gaps. There's a breakaway gap on the way higher. Um, that's a little bit of a breakaway gap because price does trade higher without trading back into it, but I wouldn't call that a great breakaway gap. Um, let's see if we have any. Yeah, okay, so there's, there's another good example of a breakaway gap right there, circling that one. Um, on the way down... We have a breakaway gap here. Okay, so you're not going to have breakaway gaps on literally every sequence, higher or lower. They're not mandatory, but they're a great sign that the market is changing directions because the market is not bothering to come back immediately and fill in an inefficiency. So, for example, here, breakaway gap. When the market was trading in July, and June, when the market was a little bit cleaner than it was in August, we had more of these breakaway gaps that would appear in price. But you could see, like for example, you do not need a breakaway gap. There's no breakaway gap here, but the market still trades much lower. So you don't necessarily need a breakaway gap and for the market to make a big move. Uh, but it's a nice thing to have. It's a good sign. Okay, there's another breakaway gap. And it's another one of those ways that you can use the fair value gap along with the fair value gap being resistance, support, inversion fair value gap, reclaimed fair value gap. The breakaway gap is is a good way. So you actually have a small, like for example, this big move down. Believe it or not, there's a few ticks there that were left open that never got traded back into. That's a small breakaway gap. Uh, you could even call this down here also a breakaway gap. So. The breakaway gap is the first gap in a sequence in a swing higher or swing lower that price does, leaves open, meaning it does not trade back into it immediately. Okay, it should be at like it should be at uh, a reversal point, uh, near a reversal point, so near the start of a new swing higher or new swing lower, 
and it should be pretty clear to you that the market has displaced away from that fair value gap pretty quickly and it and the market does not look like it's immediately going to come back and trade back into it now one of the nice things about the breakaway gap is that when price does end up coming back to the breakaway gap far you know far removed or later on it's oftentimes a very strong um, bounce spot or, or very strong reversal point for price so in this ICT basics video we covered the concept of the breakaway gap which is a fair value gap uh, in the start of a sequence higher or sequence lower uh, that price leaves open so it's breaking away from a higher time frame level that's why it's called a breakaway gap okay guys in this in this ICT basics video we covered the breakaway gap bye bye